Hello, welcome to the Pigskin Pete YouTube channel. You are about to enter into the mind of a demented college football fan. Right here now, it's all clear now. I finally found a face, don't face my fear now. It's crazy, I can't call it. I've been too deep, trying to make rip by the end of these two weeks. I'm sick with the beef, but they call me out of the kills. I got a meeting with the label tonight I got a couple verses floating in my head in case they want me to flow I got a feeling it was strange, it's like a reality show Let's see if I can rap to save my life Now all my gear looks right and my beard looks tight I'ma stare it in the face to see what fear looks like I got my demo in my hand, a flutter in my heart We coming out the dark now, the fun about to start now Good afternoon everybody, Pigskin Pete here Happy Monday to everybody so the news came out just today uh, that the Miami Hurricanes have named uh, redshirt freshman Jared Williams the starting quarterback for week zero or week one or whatever you want to call it against the almighty Florida Gators. Look, man, I had a video uh, stream I did. Uh, I did the Friday night beer streams every Friday during the off season. And I, I did one about three weeks ago, I think it was. And I had multiple people, maybe two or three, Miami fans call in and I asked them all the same exact question. Who is going to be the starting quarterback for 2019 for the Miami Hurricanes? Because in my opinion, the Miami Hurricanes are loaded at skill position. They're loaded on defense. The biggest question mark is the quarterback. And all of the guys that called in, to their credit, across the board said they didn't know. They said that, that, that Williams was the best pocket passer. Uh, Martell's uh, a really talented guy, but he's a runaround guy, and obviously he's new this year to the to the team. And of course, you have the most experienced one as far as playing time at Miami, and Kosi Perry. My thought that was and Kosi Perry was going to win it. Okay, I had a couple other guys tell me that they thought Martell was going to get it, but there was one guy in particular. He didn't call in, but he commented on the video, and what he said was. Any Miami fan out there that thinks that Martell is not going to start week one is either in denial or ignorant about football. Well, sir, looks like you're the one that's ignorant about football because today they named uh, freshman Williams the starter. Now, here's my concern about this if I'm a Miami fan. Uh, look, uh, I'm not a big fan of rotating quarterbacks or playing multiple quarterbacks early in the year. And you can go back and look at my videos from last year. I knew Trevor Lawrence was coming in. As a true freshman, I knew he was better than Kelly Bryant. I also knew that Kelly Bryant would start the year because of uh, he or he had earned it. I mean, look, the guy was a a senior and had played in big games and had played well. But uh, what I did not want them Clemson to do is exactly what they did. They played ping pong back and forth. Uh, first quarter, Kelly Bryant plays. Second quarter, Trevor Lawrence plays. Not even quarters. They would do it in possessions. And look, in my opinion, this almost cost Clemson. Their season, uh, the, the first four games of the year, especially this the the big game, a week two against Texas A&M, they were inconsistent at, at quarterback no matter who was playing. And and we'll get in. You know, I'm not going to argue about you know who would have won the game versus who. I've already done. I've spoke about that at nauseum. My point is, is you stick with the quarterback early in the year and you don't take him out until either A, they play so terrible that you don't have a choice, or B, they get injured or something. This, uh, this rotating quarterback thing, if that's what Miami is planning on doing, it's going to be a disaster. And I have a feeling, and I don't know this for sure, as a matter of fact, I have no I, nothing to base this on other than opinion, is that uh, what you're going to see in game one against Florida is multiple quarterbacks. You may see Williams, you may see Williams and Perry, you may see Williams and Martell, or you may see even all three of them. And if they do that, you, no, none of the three of them will ever get into a rhythm and they'll lose the football game. And even if they win the football game, um, it, it, you know, it could be a disaster for the weeks coming. So this is just my opinion. Again, I have nothing to base this on. Uh, look, nothing would make me happier as an ACC guy than to watch Miami beat the Florida Gators. 
Uh, I hope they do that. Uh, Miami fans have, yeah, listen, I don't know how many Miami fans I have subscribed to me. Uh, hundreds. I know there's hundreds of them, probably more than any other fan base outside of Clemson that's on my YouTube channel. And I know that Miami fans are passionate. I know that, uh, that, they, that they love the ACC and, and they want to beat up on the SEC just as much as Pigskin Pete wants to see them do that. And I hope they do that. But uh, I'm not going to second guess Dan Enos. I'm not going to second guess Manny Diaz. But I'm telling you right now, he really better be the best quarterback on that team. And I don't care what happens week one. If they believe he's the best quarterback on that team, they better stick with him and not rotate around. Because if they rotate around, Miami will lose four or five games this year. Period. So we'll see what happens. Uh, all you guys, let me know your opinions down below. I'm sure they're going to be amazing and fantastic. Have a great day. Pigskin Pete checking out.